Hi everybody! Welcome to Music Moves for Piano, Book 3, Unit 17A. We're going to start by moving in duple meter. Do, day, do, chant macro beats on do. Do, 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 micro beats. Do, day, do, day, do, day, do, day. I chant macro beats, you chant micro beats. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I chant micro beats, you chant two rhythm patterns. Ready, chant. Do day, do day, do day, do day. Do day, do day, do day, do day. I'll chant a pattern on neutral. You chant it back on syllables. For example, ba, 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 ba. Do day, do, do day, do. Here we go. Ba, 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 ba. Do to day to do day, do day, do. Ba, 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 ba. Do to do day, do day, do to day. Ba, 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 ba. Do ta to do day, do. Ba, ba. Ba, 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 day, 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 do today. Ba, 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 do, day, do. I'm going to sing the Siberian Husky. Ba, 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 ba. Would you move your body either to the macro beats and micro beats? Or if you'd like to do the creative movement, would you move in a strong but quiet way? Now we're going to sing London Bridge together. This is Do. Do, so, mi, do, ti, do. Would you sing the starting tone of the song, please? Ba, the solfege is so. Go ahead and sing it with me, please. And you can either move to macro beats and micro beats or move gently. Bum, 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 sing with me. Ba, 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 ba. tonal patterns in major tonality. I'd like for you just to echo these patterns back to me. Do, so, mi, do, ti, do. I'll sing two patterns at a time. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. to learn our song to sing for this unit, which is called The Pug. Would you please move either finding the macro beats and micro beats for this song, or if you want to do the creative movement, move in a very loose, free manner like a rag doll. 
Is this song in duple or triple meter? This is in duple meter. Go ahead and echo these patterns. These are in a swing style. So our divisions are going to be swung. Do day do, echo me please. Do today to do ta, day to do today. Do today to do ta, day to do today. Do today to do ta, day do. Do today to do ta, day do. Day to do today, day do. Day to do today, day do. Let's listen for that first rhythm pattern and figure out where that takes place in the song. Rhythm pattern is do today to do ta, day to do today. Here I go. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba. So we have four phrases in the song, one, two, three, four, and that rhythm pattern was on the first and third phrases. So then our second rhythm pattern, do to day to do ta, day do, is going to be our second pattern. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba. And our third rhythm pattern is going to be at the end. Is this song in major or minor tonality or something else? I'll sing it one more time so you can just pay attention to the tonality. So this is something else. This is in Mixolydian tonality. We're going to sing some tonal patterns from this song. First one. Show you what the solfege is just so you can hear that. you in a moment to audiate the song, hear the whole song in your head, and raise your hand whenever you hear how many times that first two macro beat melodic pattern occurs. So two macro beats, our first two macro beat melodic pattern sounds like this. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba. So audiate the song and think about how many times that occurs. And you may have audiated it faster than that, but I wanted to give you enough time to audiate in real time. So that happens three times, and there are a couple of different endings for that pattern. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba. And then we have something else taking place. So here's what we're going to do. I'd like for you to sing just that melodic pattern, and I'm going to sing the first ending for that pattern. Bum, 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 sing with me. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba. Now, can you sing the second ending for the song? We'll see if you can do it. Here I go. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba. Bum, ba. And what I just said was not correct. Not for the song, the second ending for that pattern. 
So that's the second ending, and then we go back to the first one. Now, I'd like for you to think about the two halves of the song. We're going to break this song in half. And think about how the second half is similar to and different from the first half. So here's the first half. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba. And then here's the second half. So the two halves of the song start out the same way with exactly the same pattern, same phrase, and then they end differently. Let's go ahead and sing that first phrase together. Bum, 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 sing with me. Bum, 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 bum. And then we have our second phrase with the ending. Bum, bum, sing with me. Bum, 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 bum. Third phrase is the same as the first. Sing with me. Bum, 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 bum. And then the last phrase, bum, I always sing that a little bit out of tune. Bum, 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 there, bum, bum. So that last phrase starts out with a sequence. It makes a little sequence from the pattern at the end of our third phrase there. Bum, 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 bum. So it's the same idea. It's not a step lower as we would often expect in a sequence, but it follows the same pattern. And then we just end with a cadence at the very end of the song. Bum, bum, fa, so, which is a cadence in Mixolydian. Let's go ahead and sing the whole song together. Bum, 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 sing with me. Bum, 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 now we're going to go ahead and come to the keyboard and we're going to start at the keyboard with our keyboard geography and technique. So if you open your book to the first page in unit 17, which is page 51, we're going to look at the left side of the page. For keyboard geography and technique, we're going to look today at numbers one and two. So for number one, we're going to play the roots of the tonic, subdominant, and dominant chords in F major and E major. We're going to do these in two different orders. First, we're going to begin with the pinky on the tonic. So this is just for your left hand that usually plays the harmony. It's going to play tonic on F. the second time with our thumb on tonic. So instead of your pinky on F, your thumb is on F. That means you go all the way down to Fa in your pinky. So is in your ring finger, and then Do is in your thumb. Here, play and sing. Do, Fa, So, Do. We're going to do both of these things now in E major. Starting with your pinky on E. Make sure you use the fingering pinky, pointer, thumb, pinky. Go ahead and play and sing with me. Do, fa, so, do. And then with your thumb on tonic, that means fa is going to be in your pinky. So is in your ring finger and do play and sing. Do fa so do. And if you can't sing those in 
that inversion, that's quite all right. You can sing it both ways. Do, fa, so, do. Do, fa, so, do. Or if you find that the other way is more comfortable, you can sing it that way as well. Now we're going to use that. Go ahead and do either direction, your thumb on do or your pinky on do. We're going to review this old man. We haven't played this in some time. So go ahead in your right hand, find do, mi, so. Remember, this old man starts on so, mi, so, starting with your ring finger. This gets your hand set up. first phrase, take note of your black keys in E major, go ahead and practice that. And then to start the ending, remember we skipped that knick-knack, patty-whack, give your dog a bone. You can, it's just to make it a little bit easier to play so you don't have all of those repeated notes. So the part after that starts with so re, and that will be easier to find if when you get to that second half of the song, you have your pinky on so. So, so you're back in your original spot. So, re, re, fa, then, mi, re, do. Go ahead and play that while I play the roots that are going to fit with this song. Bum, 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 play with me. doing that yet, go ahead and sing these roots. It's, we've done this before, but again, it's been a little while. Bum, 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 sing with me. Do, 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 so, do, do, so, so, do. Let's go ahead and try that. If you're not ready to play, sing one more time. with me and then I'll have you play it hands together. Bum, 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 play with me. Practice this as much as you need to. Go ahead and pause anywhere in here that you need and now we're going to play it hands together. Remember to start on your ring finger in your right hand. Bum, 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 play with me. Take your time now, pause this, practice as much as you need to because I want you to come back and play it one more time. So this time we're going to play it with your thumb. If you played it before with your pinky on tonic, play it now with your thumb on tonic. If you played with your thumb on tonic, switch to your pinky. So for me, I'm switching to my thumb on tonic, which means fa is in my pinky, so is in my ring finger, and back to do. You can try it out once or go ahead and play with me. Bum, 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 here I go. having my thumb on do. Notice I started with the pinky on do. So whatever is more difficult for you, make sure you practice that. And then this week, play This Old Man 
with the root harmony in a couple of different keys besides just E major. So you could play in D major, G major, C major. Make sure it's still major tonality. So you're just changing the keyality. All right, then we're going to move on to the exploration, creativity, improvisation. Today we're going to do this section over here, the large portion of the page. So this improvisation project is in D minor and triple meter. We're going to start by playing springtime one or a pentascale in D minor, just to get D minor in our heads. Now we're going to chant a four macro beat triple meter rhythm pattern, but before we do, I'm going to walk you through the rest of what's about to happen. You're going to improvise a triple meter melody in D minor using the harmony that's down here. You notice you have harmony written on the page. Each one of these chords represents a single macro beat. So, do, um, there we go. going to do for your harmony and you're going to use in your left hand just the roots so let's go ahead and chant a rhythm pattern you're going to start when you play these you're going to start by playing just the root harmony and you're going to audiate a melody so think about something that uses those chords, and I'll give you an example of what that could sound like. So triple meter rhythm pattern, do da do do, here I go. We'll start simple. Do da di do, do da di do. Let's go ahead and play just the roots. La, la. to try to think of some melody that uses those chords and I'll I'll go ahead and sing one this first time so you can hear what that could sound like bum, 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 play the roots with me la, let's see la, 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 do. now with me and audiate a melody, then I'll have you play it again and play the melody that you audiated. Bum, 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 play the roots with me. things unfortunately I can't give you individual help with this in this format so just if this is on the one hand if this is very difficult for you you're saying I have no idea what we're doing what is going on every time you have the tonic chord you're using something from your tonic triad in your right hand so you could play the same note every time that you have la which would be your one chord three times in a row. Then for the five chord, use B, T, C, any notes from that. So you're picking any of those notes. You could do something as simple as this with that rhythm pattern that we had. Do, da, di, do, ready, play. keeping track, play with just do's. Then you can start to 
change the note. Start with it that way and we will work with that together at the group class check-in. On the other hand, if you're saying, oh, this is so easy. Yep, I can do it. Don't stop there. Do more stuff. So you can have more interesting rhythm patterns. You can play not repeated notes. So you're forcing yourself to use other notes in the chord. That already makes it more interesting if you're wanting something more interesting than that. You can take that same rhythm pattern and start to experiment with chord inversions. Now I went way beyond your <laughs> one chord inversion at a time and extended it, but you can use any notes in that tonic triad as far as you want to go. If you really want, you can make a little etude out of it. You can do a rhythm using divisions. You decide. But if you're finding it to be easy, please make it more interesting for yourself and I'm happy to talk to you about how to do that. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we have a little bit of improv that's not in the book. So we're going to do a little bit of review contrasting duple meter and triple meter patterns. We haven't done this for a little while. So we're going to move to macro beats at a moderate speed, thinking duple meter micro beats. Do they do, do they do. Let's chant a rhythm pattern in duple meter. I'll chant. Do, do, day, do today, do. Keep moving to this same macro beat. Start to think triple meter micro beats. Do da di do da di do da di do da di. Chant a four macro beat triple meter rhythm pattern. Do do da di do ti di do. Then keep moving. Go back to a duple pattern. Keep moving. Go back to a triple pattern. So you're practicing going back and forth. If it's easy for you then see if you can go straight from a duple meter pattern to a triple meter pattern. Do day, do day, do ta ta do. Do da di, do ta di, do ta 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 do. You decide how advanced you want to make this. All right, so I'm gonna help you. We're gonna think through these micro beats. <laughs> go ahead and move to the macro beats. If you're moving like this, make sure your hands, if your hands are helping you move to the macro beat, have some energy right where the downbeat is of each one of your beats. Otherwise, if you wave your arms in the air like this, it's not going to help you feel that beat at all. All right, so we're in duple meter. Go ahead and get your macro beats going. Feel comfortable with those. Audiate duple meter micro beats. Duple meter pattern. Now just macro beats, start to think triple meter micro beats. Do da di, do da di, do da di, do da di. Rhythm pattern. Back to macro beats, think duple micro. Do day, do day. Rhythm pattern. Back to macro beats. Think triple. Do da di do da di. And a pattern. And that's enough with that for today. But go ahead and try that some this week at the keyboard, going back and forth between duple and triple. As you get to more advanced music, there are a lot of rhythms that you will find to be impossible without being able to and totally accessible with 
being able to switch back and forth between duple and triple like that. So it will open up a whole world of advanced rhythms by being able to do that. So the better you are at that, the better it is for you. So go ahead and take wherever you are in how difficult or easy that is for you and work to push yourself, challenge yourself a little bit. Try, you can also, doing that same exercise, you can practice uh, experimenting with dynamics. You can have louder things, softer things. You can also play at the keyboard, keeping your macro beats going. Look, I did the same harmony that we just did in D minor. So you can add those things in if you want. All right, then the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to play and sing different arrangements of a minor triad. So remember, if you're using solfege, this could have three different names. This could be la, do, mi. This could also be re, fa, la. It could also be mi, so, ti. Which at this point is a triad that we're really only using in major tonality, but we'll talk about that in unit 18 a little bit. So what we're going to do is I'm going to play several different arrangements of this and we're going to sing with syllables, first on bum, then on syllables, as if this is a tonic triad. La, do, mi, or a triad built on la. It could be a, a oh good grief, a submediate triad. Boy, I haven't said that word in a little while. Could be a submediate triad if we're in major. Okay. Neutral. Bum, bum, ba. There we go. And then syllables. La, do, mi. Neutral. Bum, bum, ba. Syllables. Mi, la, do. Bum, bum, ba. La, mi, do. Now we'll do a few as if this is built on re. Re fa la. Original. Bum bum bum. Re fa la. Go ahead and sing this with me if you can. If not, listen and then try this yourself. Then we're going to do it as if this is built on me. So our original triad is me so ti. Bum bum ba. Me so ti. Bum bum ba. Me ti so. If one of those triads is more difficult for you, or rather, if one of them is easier, ignore the easier one and practice the ones that are more difficult. I have a feeling it's a lot easier for you to do those on la, do, mi, because we've done that a lot. We haven't done it on re, fa, la, or mi, so, ti. So go ahead and work on those this week. Try different orders of those two triads. We're going to move on to some review. In this portion, we're going to review units 15 and 16. So we're just going to turn backwards to unit 16. We're just looking at Lightly Row on page 50. Let's go ahead and review the melody, and then we're going to add a couple of new chialities this time. So this is in G major, duple meter, major tonality, do is G. Melody starts on so. I'll play it with the accompaniment. Bum, 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 listen or play.
notice that for three of the four phrases in this piece, our, our, our harmonic pattern is as you need play one hand play the other hand remember for the accompaniment make sure you can play hands together if you can't talk to me please and we'll work on it and then we're gonna play this in two new keyalities I'd like I'll pick one and then I'd like for you to pick one I'm gonna pick E major because this has been a favorite today so go ahead and get your hands ready pause this if you need to try it out get ready for E major and then we'll play together bum, bum, bum. play with me play a pentascale before you start to play. The other thing you can do is play springtime two, which is excellent because it includes both a pentascale and it helps you find salty. So you're confident in all of that before you start. You can even do it hands together. today's date down on both new keyalities. Pause this and play another new keyality of your own. And then we're going to turn backwards and look at unit 15. So there are several things that we're reviewing in unit 15. The first of which is all the way back on page 46. We're looking at the harmonic minor cadences. So since this is the last time that we're reviewing this for a while, what I'd like for you to do is just to practice the tonic subdominant dominant. That's the bottom here. So choose any key. We're going to play in D minor. So you're going to find your tonic and then your subdominant. Pause this and practice if you need to. Here we go. So go ahead and play that on as many keys as you can this week. Particularly find which ones are more difficult for you and try to work on those. Or if you're having a lot of trouble, then focus on the ones that you can play. So start with the ones that are A minor, D minor, E minor, and then try to branch out from there. All right, we're also going to review in this unit tonic subdominant tonic when Do is A and La is F sharp. So what we're adding in this unit is for the melodic cadence, we're adding play one, four, five, one. So an A major. Again, that's only one way to do it. And you can do it with the roots.
particularly lovely. So as long as you have the notes of your tonic, then subdominant, then dominant, and back to tonic. So go ahead and add that this week. Pause and practice that. For the arpeggios in A major, we're going to sing the syllables. Starting with the root harmony. direction of your voice, I sang down and I moved up. Totally fine. Then you can also try, if you want, all the syllables of each, each chord at least one time. If you want to challenge yourself, go ahead and sing at least the roots. And then the same two things in F sharp minor. So we're going to play one, four, five, one in F sharp minor. But A is Do, F sharp is La. These are relative keys. Go ahead and play that. One, four, five, one. And then the arpeggios, at least singing the syllables. the rest of the syllables for those. And then we're going to have one more thing today. We're going to learn a keyboard piece in unit 17. You have two keyboard pieces in this unit, so we'll learn one of them in 17A and the other one in 17B. So this first one is called Sleep Baby Sleep. I'm going to play the piece. Go ahead and move to Macrobeat. Don't turn to it yet, please. Um, move to the microbeats and decide if this is in duple or triple meter. So this is in duple meter. Is this tonality major or minor? This is major. Can you audiate the resting tone? Um, do, or if I'm thinking in that octave, um, do. it doesn't have to be in the same octave. Let's go ahead and echo this rhythm pattern. Do, day, do, echo me please. Do, do, day, do, day, do, day, do, day, do. Do, do, day, do, day, do, day, do, day, do. Notice that we have two elongations in this rhythm pattern. Do, do, day, do, day, do, day, do, day, do. Go ahead and move a hand up like that to help you feel the elongation. Move and chant with me, please. Do, do, day, do, day, do, day, do, day, do. Now we're going to do some tonal patterns in here. I'm going to play them in a different key. Do, mi, so, mi, do, ti, do. Do, so. Do, so. So, mi. So, mi. Fa, re. Fa, re. Mi, do. So think about those patterns, which one of those is a dominant function pattern? One, two, three, or four. I'll sing them again. Do, so, so, mi, fa, re, mi, do. So that third one, fa, re, is dominant. All the rest of them are tonic. Do, so, so, mi, mi, do. So I'm going to go ahead and sing this. I'd like for you to think about where that first pattern happens. Do, so, bum, 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 ba, bum, 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 ba, bum, 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 bum. So it 
just connects that first couple of bits at the beginning. So first small part of a phrase. Bum, 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 do, so, bum, 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 bum. Now let's think about so, me. Go ahead and think about that and I'll help show you where those are in the song. Bum, 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 here I go. Bum, 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 bum. Now how about ba re bum bum ba here I go bum 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 ba bum 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 ba bum 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 bum. Notice that that's going to help us know where to play our dominant chord in that section of the song. We have a dominant pattern. So in that part of the song, that dictates the harmony. And then a, a last pattern. So this one, you could argue, yes, that this is a tonal pattern, or no, it's not a tonal pattern, because we have a passing tone in the middle. Mi, re, re, do, goes from mi to do, just with re in the middle. Mi, bum, bum, do. However, when we go to play it, I'll play it in the same key, since that's what we're hearing it in. All right, so we're going to come to the keyboard now, if you're not already there, open your book to page 52, looking at Sleep, Baby Sleep, and we're back in C major. Go ahead and play a C major pentascale, please. Just get us in C major. Uh, let's go ahead and chant and play that first melodic pattern. Do, do, day, do, day, do, day, do, day, do, chant. Do, do, day, do, day, do, day, do, day, do. Think about, it starts on me. See if you can play that with me. Bum, 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 play and chant. Do, do, day, do. Listen to that elongation, especially the first one. Let's do that one more time. Do, day, do, play and chant. Do, do, day, do, day, do, day, do, day, do, do. And you actually have another one right there. Let's think about now the next melodic pattern. That's just a, a smaller version. Notice that once we get to our first downbeat, everything is repeated. Mi fa fa re re so so mi mi. Go ahead and play that with me. We start on mi as a pickup. Mi fa fa re re so so mi mi. And that has our tonal pattern. Mi fa re so mi mi. Go ahead and play that with me one more time. Starting on mi. Ready, play. And then the last part of that section is, so let's play that whole section. Bum, 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 starting here, mi, fa, 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 re, so, mi. And then it ends just like the beginning. Just to notice a couple of the tonal patterns here, please play, do, so, 
which is in our first pattern. And then we have so me, which is in our first phrase. So me. And then in our second section here, in our middle section, we have so me. And then we have our me down to do. Go ahead and play the whole piece. I will play the accompaniment here. Actually, yeah. I'll play just the chord changes. Bum, 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 play with me. So our chord changes for this piece are mark down the melody in each hand. Make sure you play the melody in your left hand as well. And we will add the accompaniment in next time, in next unit, when we get to unit 18A. All right, let's look at our assignments for today. So for unit 17A, assignment number one, pattern CD track 31, along in our string here of uh, rhythm pattern tracks, and also audio tracks from book three, 33 through 35. So pattern CD track 31 and audio tracks 33 through 35. Assignment number two, keyboard geography, page 51, left side, numbers one and two. Assignment number three, improv, page 51, right side, or that large section. Assignment number four, review units 15 and 16. Assignment number five, sleep, baby, sleep on page 52. And then assignment number six, we're continuing to work through these rhythm pattern and tonal pattern projects another time doing more interesting things. So we're going to look at on page 61, tonal pattern projects three and four using tracks 5 and 18. So page 61, projects 3 and 4, tracks 5 and 18. Thank you very much for joining me for Music Moves for Piano, Book 3, Unit 17A. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye.